Recording. Okay. What's up, you too? I'm just trying to, um, this is going to be a quick video. I'm just going to um, update you guys on what's going on in the Alpha community. This is going to be a special edition for you guys, for the newcomers, because I know there's a lot of people that come into the chat. You know, the community is growing pretty fast. And believe me, I love to see this because we are building real traders here on the Alpha community. So definitely, like I said, I want to go over because we had a banger today. And we are having a lot of bangers, you know, like I say, this is not no, this is only one, really. Some of you guys probably seen this because, you know, I share, share some plays on, you know, different scores, different communities. But believe me, you know, the real thing is happening on the Alpha community. That's where we talk about every single day, you know, different, you know, companies, you know, we make, quality of DD, you know, quality of charting, you know, quality of TA, right? I spent a lot of time, you know, doing this, you know, finding a place for them. You know, this is not just, uh, we know that I do, you know, see, on, on the mean that this is my full-time trade, you know, my full-time time. And I really put a lot of time and dedication to this, you know, to this community. So people as with me, they do know how I do things, right? But I just want to show you guys what, was was you know how do we got OSHA? you know we uh OSHA, if you can see here we are we've been talking i was been talking about an ocean for way way back right we were from 417 you know we were talking about it right you know i was you know following with the ta right you can see right here you know it was at 417 you know there were some bullish aspects of OSHA, but the most important thing of OSHA was you know there were baby important TA that I made on the past, right? You know, we were basing on previous movements, you know, how the support was around, you know, four or five dollars. And we were expecting, you know, huge move in the future, right? And this was months ago, right? This is all about, you know, how swing trading really uh takes you trading to different levels. You can see how, you know, for a month, we've been talking about the whole chat was talking about the OCI, OCI 420s, Right, seven dollars, and we were still on top of it, right? Even though it's still, even though you know, we I keep talking about, uh, you know, what in you know, how is and I keep sharing with them, you know, the news, right? Obviously, I tell them, look, look, please, you need to make their own DD, but I keep you know, guiding them through every single time, even here, we're here on the 420, you know, I kept updating, you know, the chart was looking great, and the, our target, right. That we were also expecting the pattern, like we already were expecting this, but we knew that that was coming, which it came today, right? This my target was already 10 11, 10, 11 dollars, right? And this was given to them on the 420, right? I want you guys to keep an eye. This is these are the time stamps that I'm talking about. People think that you know we catch this on the days, but now I'm here, I do my own work and I do this, you know, this place for them way early, you know, we don't chase. I mean, we are here early in this office where we make huge amount of money because that's how things should be done, right? So we you can see that this is the time stamp 420. I didn't share it with him. That was my target, 10, 11, right? And, you know, what did it hit today? It went almost to $12. We even passed the target, right? Based on the chart, you know, based on how the things were going, everything worked out perfectly, right? We start adding around, you know, $6, $7, that's what we have the bullish pen. And you know, obviously, you know, market was a dip. That was okay. But we, you know, follow the plan that we had. We add the dips, right, towards our support line. You can see we do have, we did have our support at 498, which was pretty much $5. We add the dips, right, until then, because he never broke support, which that was the previous support. You can see here, one, two, three. And once we got the pattern that we were waiting for, you know, for based on the news that we had, we had a huge explosion, right? So again, this is not um something that it's cut out, you know, day by day. Blame me, we are doing the you know serious work in quality trade here. This is only one of the places because we had many places. If we go back to you know, towards this is a swing trade session that we had in the upper community. We got a lot of setups, you know, that I talk every single day, right? Different like there's really different setups. But, you know, every single day, I keep track of them. I share with them, you know, what's going on, you know, what I was expecting, right? And that's how they, well, that's how we make the money. And there are a few days, you know, we actually now, 
we updated this scanner, you know, we had a scanner, but for the moment the traders, what it does is that we, you know, we it catches the, uh, you know, unusual volume on certain certain stocks, right? If you on some of them, they're pretty good. And actually, you know, I've been tracking it, and this is pretty good for people that you know like to day trade, right? It's very accurate, and at least you know the um the ratio on this is pretty nice. You know, I could say this at least you know eighty ninety percent, you know, accurate, and that's good. Because we allow us to keep our winners great. So as you can see here, we would, you know, I was watching this, you know, pack 6.2 hit pretty nice. Your know, MBOT, this thing is squeezed, you know, this the first letter on the ball was 2.4. And I believe that MBOT did great uh, yesterday, went to 4.37. And the first letter on our scanner was 2.04. If you get that the first alert, right, you can see here. We did. You can have get there and follow the trend and make some good money that day, right? So again, this is a this is a new uh, thing that I, you know I was I'm implementing on the chat. You know the people on the on Alpha community to love it. I mean, and like I said, you know we keep hitting back. It's another example. Let me give it to the you know S today's scanner catch S H B H right. Look two point twenty seven and ten twenty nine, right? And then we go to the chart. You can see how this is based on, you know, usual volume, as I mentioned before. And if you go here, right, uh, 10, it was 1029. You're going to see how, you know, if you follow, you know, the basics on trading, those are how the things are going to go. This is 1029, right, right here, the breakout candle. Uh, 1.90, right? And based on, you know, the trend, based on how you, you would look in the bars, if you're getting an alert and maybe $292, you could have rolled this one to, from 2 to 51. So that was already the one. That was the first scalp. And even if still, if you stay on the trade, right, which you never broke the view up, you have your three level draw, you could have rolled this one way up to 275, not respecting the trend. So there are many things going on. You know, again, there are, there are many, not many stocks, but, you know, pretty good, decent amount, sure, every day. And not only that, we do have uh, options, plays that are hitting pretty nice. You know, we got one of our other traders that, you know, he did share, he was playing a ball, which was PayPal, a long time ago. You know, he keep adding to the position, right? You know, you can see how he was alerting to the chat, you know, PayPal, PayPal, PayPal. And even though I was, because it was not my play, you know, I was not really, kill, I was not really, keep, I was no, I wasn't really keeping track of it, but, you know, I mean, it worked out pretty nice for them. So those are the things that we want to see. You know, we definitely, we want to, you know, keep track of our play, but not just, you know, we, we don't just throw plays randomly, right? You can see how just that I, people had that, had a nice run that they were looking for, right? So 60 to 63, they play it out, right? They made their money, they move on. So that's what it, and those are, those are the things that we do here every day, right? We just don't throw random plays out there. You know, we are, I'm, and I'm here teaching them that they should be focused on quality of trades instead of, you know, quantity, right? There is no reason to make 10, 20 trades, like eight, nine trades. A day where they only you know can focus on one, two, or three trades a day, and make their money, and then move on, right? That's the only way to build success. So, and also you know the you know the guidance that I provide here on on the chat for them is actually pretty 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 much I hold their hands to them you know every day. You know, for example, today you know I gave them the you know I made a recap you know yesterday. We bank on Tesla. We bank on Tesla again today. Was also pretty good. You can see how you know on yesterday at uh, at noon, you know I did give see how I gave it to them. How the next break was from ninety, right? If we push down, I gave it the you know the uh the break for puts. We keep you know watching it. We keep observing. I did warn them. You know they was keep they was tapping the resistance over and over, but I warned them the break out if it was given. Right? This was at one twenty nine yesterday. I shared a chart with them. Boom, once he broke out, 
that told them, you know, that we were getting paid, that please, you know, make sure, you know, make sure it's not trimming the profits because I already warned them that the breakup was, you know, it was about to happen, if given, of course. Once it did, we kept writing this, right? Look at this, how this is the guidance that I provided today, right? We were 188 to share our entry. Our entry on Tesla was once we close above our resistance. And this is the thing that also, you know, teach them, you know, look for confirmations instead of fake outs, right? The fake outs are the things that you guys got to be careful with it because if you do not understand how do they work, uh, you are going to get caught up, right? So I just want to share, I want to share this really quick with you guys, but this is how breakouts work, right? Once the breakout candle happens, which is this long way, right? You want to see, right, the can the next candle close above your line, like including the week. That's what's going to follow the confirmation and that's what's going to allow for the next big move happen, right? As you can see. But the fake outs are the ones that, you know, you see the breakout candle, but the next one doesn't close above your line, right? Above your support. You can see how if there's a candle, you know, maybe there is a price that pushes up all the way up, but the candle will never close on your line. So if that happens, it doesn't pick up. That's not confirmation. If you buy this, then I'm sorry, but you're going to lose money because you're not, you're not taking a trade based on confirmation. You're just anticipating what you're thinking is going to go up, but it's not going to go. And what's going to happen is, you get fake out, then that was gonna happen, right? You see, you're gonna it's gonna you're gonna make you think that it's gonna break out, but it will never, and instead it will just start going down, 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 right? That's what's gonna happen. And if you allow to do that, or like if you if you if you do not, do not pay attention to these things, right? You are gonna get trapped in those places. Now, I definitely have huge and very good um you know specific education here. The other community as well, you know, many good charts that people I'm here and you know rewatch this every single day, right? This is a uh, obviously during the years I you know I accumulated and then put it up for them, but they are working with it, you know, right? They are they are studying, like I said, you know, our main goal here in the other community is you forge uh traders you know, real traders, right? Not just like random traders. So we're focused on our you know more one on one um you know, approach to them and our trades are being amazing, right? Today, for example, you know what they gave I gave them a watch list today. Every single day I give them a day trade watch list today. Look at this. I do this. I pick the I pick the stocks that I like the most, right? Based on you know what's moving in the pre-market, what's happening out there. I give them a watch list, you know, based on the momentum, based on the next breakouts and the possibly most, right? CBR was one of the top gainers today in the morning. That was now a break that I wanted people. This what there was 466 breakout, right? For a possible 240, 360%. And if you go watch CBR, what happened to it? Right? Go, go watch for yourself what it did CBR today based on our breakout, right? Yes. Our break was 4.66. And if you go look at the one minute, because that was a five minute, but look, it's 4.66, that was this break of candle. So once we, once we had this break of candle, you could have bought, right? Well, here at $5 based on that. And you could have rolled the trend and banked all the way to 0.69 if you hold enough, right? Based on our breakout level that was given. Is HPH, HPH as I gave it before. Not, not only the scanner pick it up later in the day, I gave it to them because that was the play that, like I said, I made after I make it my DD and put it out for the for the you know for the guys on the chat. That was my take out of it. It's HPH 1.70 Go look it up what it is. Same thing. You know, I want to share with you guys. Because like that, I'm trying to do this because a lot of people ask, you know, what do we do here? This is what I do, man. I, I dedicate my life to them. 177 was a breakout, right? I already have my levels draw because this is how you go. This is how you want to You need to plan ahead, make your levels, you know, follow what's going to happen. Once we had this 177 breakout, right? Closing above your, your uh, resistance line, above the 20 minute, that was our entry. And if you then, if they take this break that was given to them early morning, 923, way before, right? Once we got the news, 
they take based on that, they'll bank from 180 all the way to 2.51 based on the 20 May, right? See it right here. So then this next one, HTCR. That was another one that I had on my watch this morning because I got good news. Look at this, baby. My break from this, and this is the timestamp. Look at this. 9.23 a.m. It's what? 2.23 breakout. I gave it to them. 2.23, once we had the breakout above the 20 main, the BWAP, boom. All the way up to 3.43, respecting the trend. So those are the stocks that they do this every single day. That's how, that's how they bank. Uh, like I said, you can see by yourself every day how we share this place. This is what I do every single day. I pretty much walk them through things. And the same thing does, you know, the team, you know, the alpha traders, which are their peg, you know, what they experience, what their skills. But we do have a solid team here, including myself, you know, being the top of it. And like I said, I mean, just, just uh, introduce you to these guys. And like I said, I hope more of you guys join. Definitely, like I said, community is growing great. And, you know, my only goal is to really see this community get to the top, right? All right, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. What's up, guys? This is Wild for Trading coming at you guys today. If you guys want to start making some money and achieving those goals and financial freedom you guys are looking for, you need to start investing in yourself. You need to start investing in knowledge. All right, so join me to the Alpha community. I'll be there with you guys, guiding yourself to the market. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow on the market because I'm going to get you guys get some money. All right, so see you guys.